you're working on a website, chances are content might have to move around. It's really easy to move everything in Concrete 5. You can move content around within a page, and you can easily move pages around within your site. So I'm going to show you how to do some of that now. We've already logged in as an admin to this example site, and you can see there's the editing toolbar across the top of the page. I'm just going to put the page in edit mode, and I'm going to pick a block that we want to move to a different area. Let's take this sidebar, we'll click it, and instead of hitting edit like we might normally, we'll hit move. This puts us in positioning mode, and now any block that I want, I can click, drag, and dump it into a different block area. So I can move everything all around. Gotta grab it by the right handle. You can change the sort order as well. And when you get things looking the way you like, you can hit save positioning. Exit edit mode and approve your edits. And you're done. You've just rearranged all the content within a page. Now if you want to rearrange the pages within your site, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Uh, if you're using in-context editing and you're on a page that you'd like to move somewhere else, say we want to move this guestbook page up to the root level so it shows up in this navigation, you can simply go to that page, put it in edit mode, and you'll see a move delete button up here. This brings up a little drop down, lets you delete the page just down here, or you can pick a different parent page for it. So in this case we're on the guestbook which lives underneath home, and let's move it uh, up above into the home area. You click home, it gives you an option of move, alias, or copy. Move will actually take the same page and put it somewhere else. Alias will make a copy of the page linking over to this, so it still lives in just one place, but it'll show up twice in the navigation. And copy actually copies the page, or the page and all of its children, so you end up with two different pages. We're just going to move this one. You can see the sitemap's updated. And when I close and exit edit mode, see, it's showing up in the main nav. When I come into the about section, it's no longer down here. So I just moved my site. Now, it can get a little confusing to move everything around within your site using in-context editing. So there's also a dashboard. And if I come into the site map, see, here are all of the pages in my site in a Windows folder type view. I can expand and collapse stuff, I can see sub-pages. Uh, it's very easy to get a sense of my site as a glance. And one thing that you might want to do if you install your site with a sample content is make a new page to hide all that sample content under. So I'm going to click on home, I'm going to add a new page from here, which is just a quick and dirty way of doing that. It doesn't really matter what page type because I don't plan on really visiting that page much. And I'm going to call that private area. While I've got this open, I'm going to just exclude that from the navs so I never see it. And if I wanted to, after I made the page, I could lock the permissions down. That way no one could get to it. So now I've got a private area page. And if I want to move all this stuff to it, all I have to do is drag and drop the pages in there. Now when I'm dragging, I'm grabbing the icon next to the name, not the name itself. Dragging the name itself is a little funky. But if you grab this icon, works just fine. So you can see I'm going through all of these example pages, and I'm just dumping them into the private area. I'll leave members where it is because it's hidden. But now if I close private area, you can see it's, it's got everything in there. And if I visit the home page, it's just home. All I have to do is put this page in edit mode and delete all these blocks. And I will have an empty site, or at least what seems like an empty site. I can always click back over to the private node and look at that content again if I want to maybe bring the blog back over or see how we turned the search uh, blocks on and made that work. Uh, but very quickly, I just emptied out all my sample content into a safe place that I can come back to later.